It's Mike Schmirky here. Hello. There. Something like that. All right. Heading up to the base. Then I grab some groceries. Got my mask like I'm supposed to. We're gonna give this thing a shot. Oh, what's this? What am I? Oh, it's fine. Okay. So, Belgium. That's where we're at. Things have been pretty actually quiet and normal. Uh, a little panic buying happened at first, but we're not really too concerned about meat shortages and all that stuff here. Yeah, the U.S. has posted some things and said, oh my gosh, they're, we're all out of meat. You know what that does? What are the causes? More people to go and panic, uh, to go panic buy more. Um, that's, that's about the issue we're going to run into there. So, but hey, whatever sells, right, media? Right. So, that's what they're doing. So, for those that are coming over to Europe, what's it like right now? Um, you know what? This is not going to work. It's just shaking the crap out of it. How about that? That'll be a little better. Okay. So, for those that are coming over to Belgium, uh, PCSing, what does it, what's it like? Uh, I want to do a couple videos on that. So, the, this first one, um, housing is what we're going to talk about. So, my, ex my experience is as an enlisted Air Force member that came over here in 2017. Um, they've done some updates at housing and they've tried their best. Um, first off, if you're a single service member, E1 to E6, uh, you can expect to live in the barracks, period dot. E1 to E6, single member, you can expect to live in the army barracks. That's just how it is. And that includes Air Force, okay? That's any service, that's how it goes. Uh, if you're married, E1 to E4, they're gonna, like, priority is to put you in the government housing, uh, but it's not, there's nothing on base for you. They're, they've leased the homes in specific areas, and that's where they want to um, have you at to the best of their ability. Homes are nice, uh, in my opinion. They are responsive. You don't have to worry about utility bills. Um, you just, you live in the house. There you go. So you're given the BAH, uh, well, anyway, the BAH shows up in your paycheck, but then it goes to the landlord right away. So, um, or OHA, I guess I should say. Let me get through here. Whoop. Then what about E5 and above and you're married, etc. All right, so let's talk on what if the barracks are full with those guys. So E5, E6, and the barracks are full, we process an exception to policy and you're moved off uh, the installation then. Um, and that's good for you. So you go down to the housing office, you'll check in with them, they'll give you the housing brief and explain what you need to do. So for the first week, you know, you look at one house and you have to go through housing every single time. So you wanna view a house, you go down there, you sign in, look at a house and you'll go physically look at that house uh, what not? they've got a board that's down there that you pick those homes off of there's also a couple of websites you can look at but they're not approved for moving so a little more difficult a couple more steps have to happen but for those that are approved you are able to just go check them out and if you like them you move right in you're good to go if you don't like the house but it fits your needs Okay, so there, there is a need versus want. So you want, you know, a, this awesome backyard and, and what the, the backyard they gave you is pretty pathetic and small and your view sucks. Okay, that's not a reason not to take a house, but you can say, hey, there's some safety concerns for my kids. Um, I tripped going up the sidewalk with, uh, you know, and so I'm, I'm worried I'm gonna fall and break my ankle. Safety concerns are the biggest thing that they can uh, readdress and say, hey, this guy's not gonna live here and that's okay. So, uh, safety concerns. After a week two, you gotta look for, sorry, these are the roads in Belgium. They're just bumpy as can be. 
So uh, let's get some, there we go, some smooth spot. So the, um, what was I saying? The, the homes, um, oh, so week two, you need to look for two homes. Week three, you're looking for three homes. Uh, you hit a point in week four where you need to look for five homes. You need, every single day, you need to look for a home. The reason why is because they're paying you TLA. They're paying you to live in the lodge and they're paying you per diem. And they have to make sure that you are looking for a house. Us in the Air Force, we are saying, go, look for a house. Do not come to work, go look at a house. Because they're a little more difficult to come by. Um, it's just, you know, the PCS season, the way, the way it works. They are building more homes with where we're at, but it still is an availability issue because you're competing against um, other service members, you're competing against all the, obviously the local nationals that are trying to live here, and you're competing against other NATO members that are coming to live in the area as well. So a lot is going against you to find a home. So And then, of course, the cost. Um, cost of living is expensive. Just be ready for that. I, we pay out of pocket for where we live, um, but I've got four kids. And so we, we need a bigger home uh, to live in. European standards with this, so it's just gonna look different. Um, your housing costs, so for us, we're paying 1,800 a month. So 1,900 a month. Pay 100 euro out of pocket uh, for that. Eh, it's all right. We send 2,200 a month into our uh, Euro European account. Um, and that you know goes to our utilities and things like that uh, every month. So that's our how we do it. I don't touch that account otherwise. So we put all of our OHA or utilities, all of that into one account, uh, and I don't touch it. I don't make any. I don't make money here um, like I did in Japan. So what else about housing? Um, so once you find a house, if you know the, you'll go through an inspection, you'll walk through. Do the lease signing you need to have a bank account so uh already signed up already already taken care of so when you get here one of the first things you things you got to look at is getting uh a bank account and that way the because you have to have you need to have in your pocket um the full rent amount for one month that's your deposit um so you need to have, need to have that ready to go and uh, into that bank account that the landlord signs with you and so it's a joint account at that point that neither one of you can touch for the duration uh, you get that deposit back or you get some money back whenever you leave and you have you out inspection the, the landlord's like hey you owe me 100 bucks for this damage but other than that psh, it's all back to you so that's what the idea is there just like an american uh deposit so the difference being again that it's a joint account you can see the money they can see the money it's just how it works here um the housing office is great for when there's problems so if you run into utility issues you're not sure how it works they'll sit down with you and go through it step by step speaking of utilities with your housing every single year you need to reconcile your accounts what does that mean reconcile so you pay a monthly amount but you're not paying for your actual usage so in the States, or at least where I've been, uh, you pay every single month for the amount of electricity, the amount of gas, the amount of um, what water that you used, you pay for later that, you know, the next month, you pay for the previous month. Here, they give you a set amount. Hey, you got four kids, two adults, this is how much it should be that, you know, we average and expect you to spend. In the end of the year, you reconcile, say, hey, this is how much I actually spent give them a, uh, you work with housing, give them, give them the document, fill in some numbers, and the company comes back and says, oh, you need to pay us more, and you have to pay more, or, ah, you overpaid us, here's some money back. So, typically what's happened with us is because we came from Japan, uh, where we're already, already used to being, uh, not, not using a lot of electricity, and just, we just like the, like what we did there. We weren't your typical Americans leaving all the lights on and crap. Um, our water usage was small, yelling at the teenagers to get out of the shower. So we get money back typically with every reconciliation, and uh, which has been nice. So every year our usage has actually decreased, mainly because my kids become more cognizant of, oh, we don't want to waste electricity. We don't want to waste water. So that's been good. That's called reconciliation. Again, housing will work with you 
on that. What's the next thing for housing? Um, expect to be in the lodge for about two months uh, upon arrival. It's just how it works, two months in the lodge. Is that bad? No, they get a free breakfast every single day. All right, if you've got pets, uh, they've got a pet room, if you've got one available. If you don't have, a, if they don't have room as available, there is the kennel that's right, I mean, maybe a, a quarter mile uh, away from you. So you're gonna just walk down to it, grab your dog, go for a walk, uh, and you'll be squared away there. So, and you're gonna, the people you meet in the lodge are the people you're gonna see for the rest of your tour here. So get to know them. Uh, be friendly, don't be a jerk, because you're gonna run into those people again. It's a, uh, it's a very small US uh, footprint here. So, uh, what else you got? What else we got for housing? Um, I think that's that kind of fits the bill there for what's up with housing. Talked about your bank, uh, how you need to have an account, your deposit, make sure you got the money already. Uh, so save up. Um, I guess that would be my last third point, or my fourth point, or whatever point number I'm on. Um, before you get here, save up. You need to have um, probably three months of expenses, uh, and I'm not joking there, three months of expenses saved up ready to rock. Now, a six month emergency fund is different, okay? An expense fund is, hey, you need to buy a car, Okay, that's a Euro spec, even uh, unless you're shipping one here. Okay, but renting a car here, whoo, you're talking twice as much to rent a car. Your initial food cost, commissary is fine. Go down, go off base though. Uh, go to our restaurant to grab a bite to eat. You are spending some money. Okay, your car insurance. Uh, I don't care where you're from. This place is expensive for car insurance. And uh, every single year, I think I'm um, spending 3000 a year. And I and my wife have a perfect driving record. This is a 2012 Honda Odyssey. Um, and that's with the minimal coverage that I've got to have. Uh, we're going through Geico. So, and that's cheaper than USAA. Uh, we shopped around and it was just whatever. Now my car, my 2005 Mini Cooper, super cheap. Uh, so that's fine, but our, our minivan, to fit the fam, it is freaking expensive. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So, but just you need to have three months of expenses saved up. So I would honestly guesstimate uh, have about three grand cash ready to spend for uh, insurance, for buying food. Uh, you want to go out to eat at a restaurant um, to get your initial uh, deposit down, uh, plus your. You know all those expenses that add up you want a rental cars you can you know drive around for a little bit before your car gets here or you buy a car so all of those things add up and it is best for you to just use cash have it saved up so your stress levels is, is, isn't there so that uh when you get the tlr D, uh, dislocation allowance yeah dla your dislocation allowance save up save that up don't spend it just be ready to use it when you get here so I think that covers housing in Belgium for those that are in the, the service, um, for those that are coming over because the state department asked you to or the uh, government the US uh, military did, and that's in the Moans area. So SHAPE, Supreme Headquarters Allied Powers Europe, or Chevres Air Base, uh, which is actually an army base that the Air Force runs the airfield and it's a whole really weird thing. Uh, yeah, it's just odd. But at any rate, that's what we got going on. Thanks for watching. This is Mike Schmookie. Uh, just trying to help you out for those that are moving over to Belgium. Take care.